Welcome back to the Introducing Flamenco series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the most dramatic style in flamenco, which is known as cigarillas. So let's jump right into it. Sigurias is one of the most ancient styles of flamenco and it's definitely one of the darkest styles as well. The stories of Sigurias usually reflect stories of death and suffering. When you look at the letras of Sigurias, it's usually discussing things like, oh, the priests are coming to take my brother who passed away, or the love of my life has passed away, or I am in so much pain, all these stories of heartbreak and sadness. So it's definitely one of the heaviest bottles that we play. It is a 12 compas. Some are the solia, but the way we count segria is different. If you actually look at the compas clock, technically we start on beat 8, but we don't typically count it this way. So the actual compas that we're going to work on counting is 1 and 2 and 3 and uh, 4 and uh, 5 and 1 and 2 and 3 and uh, 4 and uh, 5 and. and. That's how we usually count the Sigiria. So still the five accents, one, two, three, four, and five, but it sounds weird because there's space in between. I like to describe Sigiria as a backwards Buriria, almost, because we have the first three accents are close together, the one and two and three and, and then we have the ones that are further away, the and, uh, four and, uh, five and, and then when you have Buririas, you have twelve, one, two, three, four, five, those are further away, and then you have the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that's closer together. So that's how we typically count a Sigiria is 1 and 2 and 3 and uh, 4 and uh, 5 and. And I want you to get used to counting that. So what we're going to do is to play the Sigiria, we're going to be on an A major chord. I do have a C here on the first fret of my guitar today. So we're going to build an A major chord. And first, we're just going to do indice on each accent. Just an indice stroke down. So it would be one and two and three and a four and a five and one and two and three and a four and a five and. So that's what we're going to do first. So let's do that really slow. Remember, the accents are on one, two, three, four, and five, the way we count it. So that would be on the A major chord, we have one and two and three and uh, four and uh, five and one and two and three and uh, four and uh, five and. Pick up the speed a little bit, Let's try it again. So we have one and two and three. basic compas of Seguiria with the accent placements. The next thing we're going to do is just to fill that compas up a little bit more without getting too advanced with Braschiados at this point in the introducing series. We're going to add one extra note. Uh, we're still going to be on the A major chord. We're going to add what's called the flat nine, but the ring finger going to the third fret on the G string. Everything else stays where it is. I do recommend playing the A major chord with two fingers your middle finger on the 2nd fret of B, and then your pointer finger is going to make 
kind of like a mini bar almost, where it holds two strings, both the D and the G, but it's still an A major chord. But instead of playing it like this, how most people learn how to play an A chord, we're holding it this way. And I guarantee once you learn this method of holding an A major chord, you'll never go back to doing this unless you absolutely have to. I use this all the time, and this will be even more important when you do advanced cigadillas and you're doing little slurs, hammer on pull-offs here. So what we're going to do here, it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and a four and a five. So same compas that we did, same idea, and it's all with indice going down. It's a much more aggressive way of playing this compas. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the A, on one, and on the ands, we're going to add our flat nine note for the first few beats. So one and two and three, one and two and three. So there I'm just moving the ring finger. One and two and three. Those are the first few accents. One So let's do that really slow. So we have one and two and three and a four and a five and. So at the beginning, the flat nine note comes on the ands. With the three and a four and a five and, they come on the up syllable. So three and funky sounding cigadilla but also very punchy very aggressive so let's do the whole thing really slow and this will be a nice introduction to your cigadilla so we have one conclusive ending to the cigadilla. So what you can do now is you can combine both of the compasses that we've done. So you can have the first one. One and two and three and a four and a five and second one. One and two and three and a four and a five. And now we have a really basic cigadilla but also a really effective one that you can add to your repertoire of flamenco bottles. And that's all I'll give you for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning Sigidius. And in the next few videos, we will be wrapping up the Introducing Flamenco series. We'll look at a few more bottles before we end. But uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below to help support the channel. And I will see you in the next class. Hasta luego.